Hello, my name is Lynn Gallier. I'm a University of Buffalo graduate student in Dr. Ramondi's learning and instruction class, Teaching the Exceptional Learner. I'm a high school librarian in the Hudson Valley, completing my teaching certification. In this presentation, I'll introduce a simple to implement evidence-based practice called Numbered Heads Together. An effective learning strategy, Numbered Heads Together has been shown to improve both social and academic outcomes for students in inclusive classrooms. As you may have guessed by its name, Numbered Heads Together, or NHT, is a cooperative peer learning instructional strategy. The social interaction between students is one of the reasons that cooperative instruction works. In NHT, students are each responsible for thinking about a question posed and for determining the correct answer as a team. An individual student from each team then presents this answer to the whole class. This is a great example of group contingency in action, since NHT supports target behavior such as participation as well as learning. Working in small heterogeneous groups, students improve their learning through respectful peer interaction that is content-based and task-focused. Numbered Heads Together is one of more than 100 cooperative learning strategies developed by Dr. Spencer Kagan and his team of researchers and educators. Kagan is known for his positive, supportive approach to student engagement, a principle he recognizes as essential for learning. He developed basic structures designed to access and cultivate individual learning potential through skills mastery, thinking, information sharing, and communication. His work not only acknowledges, but celebrates student diversity and recognizes each student as, quote, having a unique blend of strengths and weaknesses, end quote. His work also shows that active student participation improves learning and that small group guided strategies are an effective way to facilitate this process. I use several of his graphic images throughout this presentation I like how they embody his philosophy, supporting ideas and concepts visually. Research has promising implications for the use of numbered heads together in inclusive classrooms. Compared with traditional models such as voluntary hand raising, NHT has greater potential to solicit student participation. And students prefer it. In combination with peer supported opportunities to respond, NHT improved on-task behavior for students with ASD even more effectively than NHT used on its own. Studies indicate that NHT improves learning outcomes and student participation, and there is some indication that using NHT with an activities-based incentive is more effective than using it without. NHT is easy to do. There's minimal preparation and only basic materials are needed like a blackboard or smartboard or centrally visible easel. Papers and pens or pencils or whiteboards and response cards with dry erase markers for students. NHT is appropriate and easy to adapt to almost any subject or class content, whether mathematics, social studies, English language arts, or science. In fact, studies have been done on NHT in each of these subject areas. It's also appropriate across age levels. It's used with elementary age children up through high schoolers. Depending on instructional goals and objectives, numbers heads together can precede instruction for pre-assessment, for example, or it can follow instruction for practice or review. After learning something about NHT, I would like to use it as a fun pre-assessment tool since I don't often know what level of information and or digital literacy skills my students have mastered. Many teenagers are device savvy, whether from recreational use or from experience with assistive technologies. And this leads them and educators to believe that they are more skillful researchers or digital producers of knowledge than they actually are. So let's put our heads together and learn how to do it. Step one, divide students into heterogeneous groups of four. Number students in each group, one through four. Pose a topic related or content relevant question for students to answer. Give students some time to think quietly and independently while the, and to write answers on whiteboards or paper. This can be approximately 30 to 40 seconds. Step five, 
call out heads together. Students then discuss their answers with their teammates, determining the right answer and sharing it with each member. Pick a random number one through four and call it out. Number threes will answer. Students with that number in each group answer on behalf of their NHT team. Step seven, offer your students feedback, consulting with other teams and students asking, do you agree, for example, or engage team question responders in follow-up questions or expanded dialogue. It's up to you. Some key points to keep in mind when practicing. Groups are heterogeneous. This encourages student interaction beyond their normal patterns and supports inclusivity and broadens their interpersonal experiences. Numbers are picked randomly, so all students have an opportunity and responsibility to answer and represent their team. She, he also has the experience of team support and praise as they do so. Teacher picks the question. This allows for formative assessment and fulfilling of learning objectives. Since numbered heads together improves participation in academic outcomes for students with and without disabilities, including students with emotional and play, including students with emotional and behavioral disability, NHT shows promise as a tier one strategy for multi-tiered systems of support. There are some things to consider when using NHT. Establish consistent times for independent student thinking and writing and for group team consultation. You may want to lengthen these time frames for your exceptional learners. Be sure and apply them consistently to all groups across your classroom. Instruct students prior to using NHT so they know what's expected of them and how to do it. This includes behavior guidelines like mutual respect for and praise of peers. You can share a written outline of the NHT steps and behavioral guidelines to help remind students before beginning. Behavior guidelines might simply be those you use with any student interaction, such as respectful listening, not interrupting, and sharing praise and helping each other. Be sure to share this outline with teaching assistants, paraprofessionals, or co-teachers. You may even want to share outcomes of your experience with NHT with guidance counselors or other IEP team members. Remember, let students know that the numbered responder for their group will be randomly chosen. Everyone on the team needs to know the answer. This helps mediate between high and low responders, giving everyone a chance and a responsibility to speak for their team. Repeating NHT, integrating formative assessment, of course, may also improve outcomes with each cycle. So use it periodically, if not often. Some teachers ask students to stand when answering. Think about this if you have students who use wheelchairs or other orthopedic impairments. Minor but significant adjustments can be made to ensure inclusivity while practicing NHT with fidelity. Think about when and why you want to use NHT for your class. Some questions you might ask yourself are, what are my goals and objectives? Do my students need review for scaffolding instruction? Where am I in the school term? Do I need to know what my students have learned so far or review earlier material for an upcoming quiz? What would help my students now? Are they excited because of a school or a social event that's upcoming? Are they restless? Remember how our emotional environments affect our ability to learn. Use the ADAPT framework to help you determine if NHT is right for your classroom. Numbered Heads Together is a research-based, easy-to-implement cooperative learning strategy that works well with other effective learning strategies. It recognizes and supports the diversity of students in any class, especially an inclusion classroom. Numbered Heads Together integrates strategies like providing opportunities to respond, peer instruction, positive reinforcement and inclusion, and this makes it a good behavioral management strategy while it improves student academic achievement, it provides students with immediate feedback, peer and teacher praise, and correction if needed. It cultivates students' responsibilities, both to him or herself, 
to complete the task, in this case, answer or try to answer a question, and to others to be an equitable, supportive, contributing group member. This makes it a good practice for real world interaction, preparing students of all stripes for the real world where they will work with different kinds of people and be responsible community members at work and in society. I hope you'll give it a try in your classroom. Thank you for watching.